So we start part four of the power supply project. We're on Mr. Chippy's bench between an air conditioner and the background music uh, speaker. And uh, so he's got the, um, what he's going to end up doing, because the original ones the, uh, of the power supplies we're kind of replicating, um, have got the transformer, well, here's one of the broken ones. Like, oops, we're... So it's like that, so you've got the printed circuit board against the back. This is the one we've, um, not the broken one, this is the one we've put the new board in. And the transformer's that way on. But we're using a slightly smaller case, and so the transformer will be that way on. So that's the back. Um, this is the, we're going to put do ten of these for our own fun um, the this is the first one first cock up is that the mains lead was supposed to go in the bottom hole uh, and he's drilled the uh, he's drilled that for the fuse holder I was going to have the mains lead at the bottom and the fuse holder at the top on the back but uh, that hasn't happened so this one's going to be a bit topsy-turvy uh, so he's already made the board this is another board to the one you saw in part three so that's all ready to go and he's currently whoops mounting so there's your board and he's currently mounting the output transistor onto that um, L-shaped heat sink that we bought in ready bent and so that's the board he's made to go in it. So really, it's just a matter of, of the kind of um, physical work of putting that in the case. Um, under our screw box, you'll see the lid to the case. So it's kind of a bluey grey one, and they come with punched ventilation holes. So that's where we are at the moment. And we've also done I've got another board there which has been finished, that's been drilled. So that's ready for the next one. So I've been busy, been busy making some printed circuit board blanks. We've run out of materials, so uh, just ordered some more. I've ordered some more cases and we'll have to order some other bits and pieces. So that's how we're getting on. That is so far with part four of doing the power supply. We've got another project in line and we're going to be building an SWR meter for CB use. And this appeared as a project in Citizens Band magazine for November 1980, December 1980 I think it was. So 11 months before CB was legal in the UK. So interesting project and it looks a nice project and I've uh, already done the printed circuit board blank for that. So there we are, that's how it goes and we'll bring the camera out when it's a bit more advanced. So I've got Mr Chippy putting a few more touches onto the power supply project as you can see and uh, I'll just pause it once again whilst he uh, snips a few more wires. We're just waiting for on and off switches, I've ordered them from another source uh, because otherwise this project is going to take an eternity if they fail to turn up. So, oh, we're mounting the board now. No, oh, yeah, I've got the uh, transformer and the pups to do. Yeah, so you've kind of done all the output side, but we're stuck with the input side. Yeah. A radio crunch is done as a front panel, which is a replica of the uh, uh, other one, but um, with a different uh, number of amps on it, like four instead of five. And we'll see that as, as this progresses. So the next day, and I'll get to Mr. Chippy to show you where he is with that power supply. You can see that and the lid lurking. And he's just drilling some more boards for some of the other power supplies which we'll be putting together, just for a laugh. So he's gone through with a one millimeter bit. Now we're on the 1.3 millimeter bit because the diode wires need to be that bit thicker. 
and so do the leads which go out to the uh, transistor, the uh, 23055, the one on the heat sink. And the transformer. And the transformer. So when you've done those, um, you can, uh, if you pick up the power supply and we can look at that on here. Do that one. So let's have a look if you uh, turn that. There we go, yes. So we bolted the transistor in, bolted the transformer in, and we're just we're just waiting for the switch. So we're absolutely at a standstill. And I've ordered switches from two sources. Of course I wanted double pole switches, I'm having a bit of a job. And I said before we wanted to put the main lead at the bottom, but there was an error there. It doesn't matter, we'll do the subsequent ones hopefully the right way around. This is prototype. Yeah, it's a prototype, so that's <laughs> fine. Yep, yeah, so there we are today. It would work, I'm sure, if we'd got the switch. So we'll put the camera on another day when we've actually got the switches. That's a sneak picture of the one of the CCTV monitors. Uh, Mr. Chippy's chopping up printed circuit boards with the printed circuit board guillotine. I thought we'd get a sneaky view in. Oh, so we're back in the workshop of Mr. Chippy and he's busy. We've finally had the on and off switches delivered and if you'd like to turn that round, so we've actually put a front to it. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> uh, which Mr. Radio Crunch has kindly uh, done for us. So we've putting this, we've done the toggle switch, he's just wiring that up at the moment. And the idea of Tango Town, many years ago, uh, when I was at Nottingham Radio, we had the representative coming around from Clear Tone, who were, you know, a good company of business, two-way radios. And I said to the representative, well, I just don't like the name. You know, if it was something else, if it was just CT Electronics or, or something like that, I could accept it. But I said, I can't be installing radios that say Clear Tone. It's like having television sets called Good Picture or motor cars that say goes well on them. And so it's actually a taking the Michael of clear tone. So that's what Tango Tone's all about. It's just something silly that uh, we thought of. So um, this is a double pole switch and uh, where have you got to? Uh, have you done the primary or you've done the mini input or? It's done, I just need to put this wire on and it's, it's done apart from the LED going in. Oh right, we haven't, we haven't got the clips yet for the LED, so uh, we'll I think we'll. I don't mind if you want to do. Yeah, I don't mind if you want to do that on the prototype. Yeah, it's going to change anyway. I'm not until I have with the front. Yeah, so I think he's going to move that down and left on the subsequent ones. So uh, we'll come back when there's a bit more, and then we can have the switching on ceremony. Or shall I call the fire brigade now or later? <laughs> Have them on standby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here we are with it put back together. Show us the screws that are in it. It can give it a, a whirl. Yes, there we are. All finished. He's and he's done it on purpose, putting the screws in so that he has to take it apart again when it blows up. Right. So we're going to switch on. This is genuinely the first time. Nothing has been checked other than. Because we well, hopefully know what we're doing. Well, I put the main, men's words the right way around. You did? Yeah. Yes. That's quite important. Yes. You did, oh, you drilled your finger or something, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Oh, show your injury. Let's just zoom in on his injury. And what was that? I was putting the LED in. The uh, little bit jammed like they do, so I pulled it <laughs> out and it, it uh, got me. <laughs> I don't know. Right, switch it on then. Way! Right, voltmeter. Oh yeah. Probably a good idea, isn't it? Surely it's set. Let me just look at 13. that. 13.4. There we go. Right, unplug the uh, one end of the bulb so you can... It was 14.04 on the uh, offload. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you are. So there we are. Oh, we obviously ordered the right transformer. Made in Britain transformer, how about that? Well, I think the next thing we need to do is to put it onto the um, electronic load and uh, 
and make sure that it's uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I'm pleased about that. That's done. So the, we, with one or two things were altered for the next one, but this is the prototype, and um, we'll come back with the electronic load connected. Okay, so now we've got it hooked up to the, um, as I say, dummy load, but you know what I mean. It's the uh, electronic load. So if you'd like to switch the power supply on, and if you look at the lower left-hand display oh, and activate the... Uh, uh, yeah, well, that's offload voltage. That's off, yeah, offload voltage is... Set it to 1 amp. 14.1. This, this will tell us how many amps it actually takes when we switch it on. Oh. There we go. are. So... We've now got 13.7 volts, and that's a one amp load. So, and of course that's, on receive, on a normal UK CB, you're gonna be, with receive and plenty of audio, it's probably uh, going to be something like 80 milliamps. So uh, one amp load would be um, usually about transmit for most sets. Uh, most UK sets, 1.3 maximum. We'll set it to 1.5. Yeah. And see how it behaves. So we're 13.6 volts. So the, you're never going to exceed that on normal UK sets. So if we took this to, just for the argument's sake, let's take it up to 3 amps. Okay. Ready? Yep. I made it grunt. 13.2 volts. And the fan's kicked in. <laughs> and finally, yeah, fan on the test instruments going in, where it's 4 amps. And that's the absolute. Uh, hmm. 12.8. Okay. So it does what it says on our tin. Good. Well, that's uh, that's absolutely fantastic. So uh, this is part four. So part five, we're going to put some more together. That's the prototype. And um, this will be in the, in the next few weeks. It's not going to be something which is going to happen uh, too shortly. So we've got ourselves a power supply. It's a little bit more compact than the original. But then it's a little bit more, uh, a little fewer amps because we've been replicating the five to seven circuit. Um, the three to five circuit I don't like, and so I would rather put the five to seven board in any power supply we're working on. Uh, we're going to be doing some other power supplies. I think we might replicate a Bremi uh, because somebody says they like the idea of an adjustable internal voltage, and I might. I think we're going to be doing the Citizens Band magazine. I think it was um, December 1980, somewhere like that, just before CB was legal in the UK. The Citizens Band UK magazine did a 3 to 5 amp power supply project and I built one and used it for 20 odd years and it's in the other room. Oh, by the way, Chippy, this is supposed to be a 5 amp surge. Just dial in 5 amps for a, for a 5 second surge, will you? Yeah. Yeah. So we won't blow a fuse, but it'd be interesting. Okay. Five. Enter. Go. Yeah, ten point three. No, that's stop. So yeah, it's uh, it's four amp, which is exactly what we say it is. So there you are. Thanks for watching part four of our power supply um, replication of the same circuit used in as really reliable but banned Taiwanese power supplies from nineteen eighty.